And then step five is for family socioeconomy study. They'll get to ask you about your family, your financial background, the things you have, the assets, and all those kind of things. Uh, step six is about admission and migration process, which is the final step when you have already received the congratulations uh, email for winning the scholarship. Well, we're going to start from step one. When you first click the, the link that is in the group, it will take you to our page, which will ask you to apply. This one here, I don't know if all of you can see my cursor, but this is the, the page that you will see. And when you click this apply now, it will take you, it will show you something like this, like state your admission process here. This is where you get to start your admission process. And you have to put your email address and make sure that this email is an email that you can easily access to, that you can open every day to check your emails and read them. Because if not, you'll get like, you'll not get uh, to proceed because of not getting the information. And then in the name, you have to put your name, the name that you have in all your certificates so that you can avoid complications and your surname too, the last name. About the mobile number, you put the number that they can easily get you when they call, you are, you'll be ready to, to pick up the call. So th that is the kind of number that you should be giving out together with the code area because I don't know, most of you, some of you are living in Kenya, some are living in Uganda, some are living in South Sudan. So you have to indicate the court area so that they can know the country. And then date of birth, you just put the same thing, but make sure those inform, like the information you're putting here should be the information that you have in all your certificates because you don't need to risk anything, okay? About the agenda, you put whether you're female or you're male, those are the options that are there. And then country of origin. Obviously, if you're from South Sudan, you'll have to write South Sudan. You have to differentiate between country of origin and country of residence. Country of residence is where you're living. And country of origin is where you are originally from. And then the city also, city that you're living in. <laughs> you have to put the name of um, your high school which means where you finish your, your high school degree. Here, some, uh, uh, I got a lot of messages from different people asking me that they, this form is, um, is in Spanish. It doesn't allow them. They don't even understand what is there. But if you can see down here, down here, you can see something written preferred language for communication. If you click here, you will see, sorry. If you click here, you will see like a lot of different languages. So if you speak French, you can put French. If you speak English, you can put English, which I know most of you speak English. And yeah, that way you'll be able to, to fill the, the form. Mm -hmm. When you send this one, after finishing and submitting it, you'll be able to receive email from one of the admission officers. And that email will be telling you like, thank you for showing your interest on applying for Art University. And they will give you a link so that you can assess the account now. Your account that, that has uh, all the, the questions and everything that you you get for the application process. In the application, there are essay questions. They are not that long. They are of like one paragraph. I did it, I did, I did not do it online. So mine was in a paper. 
and it was a long. I guess the one that is uh, online right now can be long because you'll be having a lot of space to like express yourself and say all that you need to say. But these are the questions like, what is your principal motivation for completing your university studies and applying for admission to at the university? This is basically asking you to show your interest. So how you have to approach this question is setting out all the interest you have about agriculture. You have interest, that's why you want to apply, right? So you don't really need to show them that you're not interested in it or that they'll not give you um, the, the scholarship. So you need to tell them, you need to be creative enough to tell them that you are really interested in agriculture and it's the only thing that you're hoping for right now. If they don't give you this scholarship, like there's no way you're going to, you need to show them that that profile that you're really interested in and you want it more than anything. And then what evidence can you provide to demonstrate your interest in agriculture, livestock, the environment and natural science? You need to show like any evidence, let's say something that you've done in past about agriculture, anything related to agriculture or and livestock. I, I guess you will not miss like any point about that one. And remember, you're competing with thousands of people, not only in South Sudan, not only in Kenya, not only in East Africa, but around the world because they take from everywhere. So you really need to be creative enough and convince them that they should choose you over others because of your evidence that you have demonstrated. Refer to an important situation, challenge, or problem you have experienced, how you faced it, and strategize you used to solve. Here, they have to know, like, they, they're trying to see how you respond to problems and how you can, you're solving problems uh, skill. So you have to state an example of the problem that you are facing and how you came up with the solution. It might not be your problem, it might be maybe a community problem or a friend problem that you were able to solve it and get a clear solution of it. So you have to state a very strong point about it and support it. Give an example of a teamwork experience that you were a part of and which had an impact. What was your contribution to the team to achieve the final goal? Well, Personally, I would like to tell you when you're approaching this kind of question, you have to make yourself the main character in the teamwork. You have to be the leader in that teamwork so that you they can know like you have leadership skills and you are able to lead people in anything, okay? So you have to also give an example of the teamwork experience, something that you were doing as a team, and you were the main person in that group, like you were the leading, you were the leader in everything that they were doing, okay? And you have to state how you contributed. You have to mention something positive that you did and achieve the, the final goal, okay? If you have participated in extracurricular activities, community, sport, technical, environmental, among others, provide examples. This one, especially if you have any certificate or document that indicate that you participated. I know a lot of uh, high schools, they, they used to provide certificate of sport, environmental clubs and all those things. So these are kind of things that you have to state and tell them things that you were doing. Maybe in a community, you were a community treasurer or you were doing something important to your community Maybe um, volunteering activity, you can state it too. You are doing volunteering work, like you are teaching school, you are teaching a student for tuition, you know, things like that. This is the example of how the all applications used to look like the one that I don't have access to the one that is online right now, which is the one that you guys are using 
for your application. But this is my application, the one I used to apply for the scholarship. And the first part is uh, identification. It's almost, well, the, the easiest part are also here and it's just the same thing like what I explained before. So the first part is uh, identification where you have to write details about yourself, your name, your middle name, and where you're coming from, you give out your address. And yeah, place of birth, if you were born in South Sudan, you write South Sudan. If you were born in Kenya and you are a South Sudanese, you can also write you were born in Kenya and you are a South Sudanese. You don't have to lie here as long as they are in your certificate because I know most of the people living in Kenya are refugees, right? And when they are applying, they have difficulties in how do I even apply for this? And I have like place of birth has Kenya and I'm a South Sudanese by nationality. Put those things because they are in your documents and those documents are the one that will help you for the, to get the scholarship. So they will go and confirm everything and you don't have to lie when it's come to this thing. Main economy activity of your region I know we are pastoralists, but you really need to show them that you are interested in agriculture, right? Pastoralism is also part of agriculture. So just put agriculture. There is education part, which requires your, like it's asking you the name of, your, of the institution that you finish your high school diploma and maybe any other institution that you, you have attended. You have to list all of them down here and then the year of entry and the year that you finish the course, the degree that you receive, maybe you, you receive high school diploma, so you have to indicate high school diploma. The personal information, well, this part still involved um, those were the essays that they ask us, and they are the same. Explain why you wish to enroll at Earth University. It's just like the same thing that I explained earlier. So let's go to the next page. This is what they ask about how you participated in community. They, they were asking if you have done any activity. Obviously, if it was yes, you have to explain what you did and why you did it. Always show your interest of serving the community because also they they evaluate those skills, not only your academic, um, they, they are not only interested in your uh, academic things, but also your leadership skills. So you really need to tell them how you're participating and how you are being influential to your community. The family financial information is very important if you want a fully funded scholarship. Well, we are talking of at the university scholarship. At the university has a lot of scholarships. It's not only MasterCard, okay? It has a lot of scholarship. So depending with your family and financial information, that one is the one that will choose whether you're going to get a fully funded scholarship or partially funded scholarship or MasterCard scholarship or any other scholarship? Well, we all know that MasterCard uh, scholarship, they always take people who don't have anything. Like you've really showed in your family and financial information that no one is working and all those sort of things. So it's a very good scholarship. So I hope everyone will like to end up with such kind of scholarship. And that one will depend with how you answer this family and financial information. If it's look like this, like in the, your application form, they will ask you the name of uh, your family members. So you have to list all of them, starting from your dad, your mom, and your siblings. And then you have to indicate the relationship you have between them and their ages, their level of education. If they have not gone to school, 
you don't have to lie, just write. No one went to school. You just write all of them if they have not gone to school. And if they are still in school, you can write they are still in school. And then indicate the occupation. You don't have to lie here. You just have to state the truth. If they're not working, don't be afraid to say your parents or your, your siblings are not working because they are evaluating the amount of money you have in your family. And if your dad and mom and your siblings are all working, then they will prefer someone over you, someone who is really in need of that scholarship. So you have to be smart here. They ask also monthly net income of household in US dollars. So put the minimum amount you can see there. If it is $50, put $50. $50 is the monthly net income that you receive in your family so that, that you can get this scholarship. Remember, it's a very competitive scholarship. And they always like um, prioritize people who don't have anything because they are willing to help. This one, the Swan In statement, sorry. The Swan In statement, you just have to put your signature, the date that you finish your application and your passport. It's not a must for you to have a passport. If you have an ID, you can put it there. And essential requirement to submit your application. So in the process of application, they will ask you to have a personal email that is where you like the first thing that you're supposed to have, like you said before. And then you complete the, the form of um, entirety. I guess it's the first form that we were saying to create your profile or to show them that you are interested in, um, in the scholarship. And then copies of official junior school and senior high school, the primary school for those who are in Kenya, the primary school and high school, and then attach three letters of recommendation. They should be three. Don't even be tempted to only submit two of them because you will be disqualified. You must make sure like you have three of them before you submit them. Attach your passport size photo at the beginning of the form. If you can see here, uh, I hope it is indicated here. If you can see my casa, it is saying important attach a recent passport size photo. And I hope in your application form also the same thing applies. So you have to make sure that you have um, a passport photo. Yeah, and this brings us to the end of our presentation. It's always good when, when you're applying, you have to have like a choice for applying for the scholarship. Make sure that like you are really giving it your best so that you cannot regret later. For me, I always tell myself like there is harm, there's no harm in trying everything. So when you're trying any application and they don't respond to you, you don't have to give up in life. You just have to be consistent and show them that you still need it even if they don't want to give it to you. They will find a reason to call you, okay? So thank you so much for listening to me. And if you have any question, you can ask. Yes. Yes. Yeah, someone is raising his hand. Um. So you do the presentation. So it's the time for questions now, right? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, it has been a short presentation and orientation. I hope you guys are getting me now because I'm no longer muted before I made a lot of noise and and no one could get me.
Hello. Yeah, we can get you. Oh, okay, okay. I think you guys can see me, but you guys are not seeing my video, right? No, we're not seeing. Yeah. Can, so yeah. that's a. Uh, okay. That's the presentation from. That's the presentation from the uh, from from the speaker. I think you guys have uh, seen and have learned, or you have seen, you had, and maybe you learned some things. Yes, okay. So, I think maybe if you have. Oh. Hello, Abby. Even some Aurora will say you can also have it. And a lot of people will be there to answer the question. That would be good. And then other, other people will also answer. Yes. So, I was asking whether you can help me to read. Yeah, so. The questions. No. Yeah, yeah, you can read out the questions, yeah. No, I was I was saying I'm asking you to like help me out to read the questions in the comment section. And someone's hand is up. iPhone. You can okay. Ask the question. I think we have some internet uh, challenges. I have texted you. Hello, speaker. Please, before I choose anyone, you asked me to. You said you were going to announce some situations. Or did I, did I get you well? No, I was saying you can help me read out the questions in the chat. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, one of the questions is. Uh, my question is about reference letter. Do reference letter need to need to be signed and and stamped? That's one question. The recommendation letter. Um, no, yeah, yeah, the reference letter, the reference. Ah, okay. Well, um, personally, I will tell you yes. It's not a must, but if you want to have a plus, the reference letter, like uh, yeah, I'm getting you. So I, I was saying it is not a must for it to be stamped, but it is a plus when you have it stamped because it indicates like you got it from a very important source, the, the source that recommended you. So it's really very important. If you have access to that stamp, let them stamp it for you because it will be better having it stamped. Okay, another question is, uh, please, is, can you share more information about the scholarships within within uh, House University aside MasterCard? Well, there are a lot of scholarships, though I don't know their names because I'm a beneficiary of a MasterCard scholarship. And they, like I said before, they placed you according to how you've answered that uh, that. Uh, the financial part, the financial, the family financial statement. But most of students from East Africa are under MasterCard. So if you if you write or if you fill out your application very well, you can be rewarded with a MasterCard scholarship. But to be honest, I don't have idea of other scholarships that are at Earth. Okay, I don't know if uh, you guys are convinced, but uh, 
Another question is, what is the age limit for bachelors and masters respectively? What? What is the age limit for bachelors and masters respectively? Well, at our university, we don't have masters. It's only bachelor. We only have undergraduate degree. And the last time I applied, there was no age limit. So then I don't know if you have an idea of that so that you can help us with the question. Okay, I don't know if you guys are really answered, but I'll be going I'll be going ahead to 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 hear out the questions and then maybe later we can conclude. Uh there's another person here. What are the courses available? What the are the what? Available. The courses available. The courses, the courses. Well, all of us are doing agricultural science, right? So you have to know that is the main, like the main, uh, the main thing that everyone is doing here. Okay. But within agricultural science, we have a lot of courses. We have a lot of courses. That's a good answer. Are you monthly stipend? What? Can you hear me? I hope this can provide monthly stipend. That's another question from my job bureau. Okay, I will answer that after this. Okay, give me a second. Okay. So yeah, I was saying with within the course that we are doing, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of within the program that we are doing, we have a lot of courses, right? We have different courses. We have um. We have genetics, we have um, entomology study of insects, we have, um, we have, um, how do you call it? We have communication, we have English and courses associated to agriculture, the main program. So there are a lot of them, but the main program of the institution is only agricultural science. And to talk about the monthly stipend, that one also depends with the scholarship that you're having because all of us don't have the same scholarship. And with that, we all have different uh, monthly stipend or some of them don't have stipend. But for MasterCard students, they receive a monthly stipend. Yeah. Uh, okay, so Sorry, sorry, sorry. Come to on my personal page. Yeah, I'm sorry. Then, uh, what about the institution that mentioned? Is it school name or section that I have done? The institution that is mentioned in the application, is it a school name or is it, or is it, or is it a maybe institution that you have attended? Okay. This one, right? You can see my casa. So the name of the institution might be your school name or any vo vocational train, um, vocational training center that you have attended. So it's a name, maybe the name of school or the name of that institution that you finished the, the course. And you have to indicate whether it was academic or some other training. Okay, okay. Uh, again, another question from Salva uh, Liu. For this ongoing sessions of the 2023 MasterCard Foundation Scholarship, when will those accepted start with their studies? Is it also fully funded, like flight tickets and medical, assurance, medical insurance? What like, was the question? Uh, for this ongoing of the 2023 MasterCard Foundation Scholarship. When will those accepted start with their studies? And again, is it also fully funded, like flight tickets, medical insurance are all covered? This is a question, I think. Well, yeah, it is fully funded. And the one for medical insurance is not fully funded, of course. They pay 80% and you pay 20%. But first first thing you have to know right now is diving into getting the the scholarship first and then the rest will come. 
Okay, I think this is the this are the end of the questions that I've seen here in the in the meeting chat. So okay, another one is here. What about if you are not very good? What is the question, Abhi? Uh, what about you? Are, what about if you are not a refugee? Well, it's not a must for you to be a refugee in order to be accepted here. You can apply. It is open for everybody. Okay, if it's open for for everybody, like what you say. Uh, also, is the same person is asking. Uh, what what if it is mentioned there? What can you write in its place? I don't understand the question, Abie. Oh, the question was like, what about if you are not a refugee, right? So I got uh -huh. to answer. Mm -hmm. say that it's not a must. It's open for everyone. So I was okay. okay. And the same person also again has, what can you do if it is mentioned also? Like when they have mentioned in sessions where they need your refugee cards, like, and you are not a refugee, what can you do there? Well, you can tell them it is not applicable in your case. Okay, okay. Questions are coming. Uh, another question has me. Uh, uh, mine is about the deadline of submitting the application form. At what time exactly are we supposed to submit in our form? I think that is 31st of January, right? Yeah, 31st of January. That. So you have a, you still have a lot of time. And you don't have to wait for the yeah, yeah, yeah. so that you can submit it because it's a long process. It's uh, require a lot of your time to finish the application. So you simply have to take your time and submit it earlier before the deadline. Okay. Um, I think uh, the questions I have yeah, all answered. If, uh, if your question is not answered, please, if I haven't read it really out, please, can you again text it in the group, or text it in the group and read it again, I'm sorry. I'm giving you some seconds to that. Can you apply for scholarship and admission separately or all in one application? No. That's the question. Ah, okay. Uh, it is all in one application. You don't have to apply for them yeah, yeah. separately. Okay, another question is, what if I don't have a agricultural subject in my kids? Am I eligible? Well, to be honest, like I said before, apart from uh, your mm -hmm. academic performance, they evaluate other things. And I will testify that I did not do agriculture in my high school. I never knew the definition of agriculture even, but I had done like geography before and some other subjects in high school and i applied for it though it was one of the requirements but they did not they did not uh, consider that that much okay uh, another question is how many days before i think i have answered this and she has also said it this uh 31st of january so you can now count the dates um what is the medium of instruction for the studies i think that's english because Costa Rica. Oh, oh, sorry, no. sorry, please. Well, sorry, sorry. it's okay, it's okay. Well, the, yeah. they teach Spanish here. When, <laughs> when you get the scholarship, you will have like four intensive Spanish program because they, they teach in Spanish. Everything is in Spanish here. So you'll have to learn the language first for four months and then... In the process, you will have to live with the host family that fully speaks Spanish. They don't know any English. So you'll be able to learn English for those four months and then come back to school in January to now continue with the, your program. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, are there courses associated to our health, like pharmacy, public health? No, dear, it is only agricultural science, like I said before. Uh, I think that's the uh, answer. All questions. Mm -hmm. More questions later. 
well, I just give some points because for me, I don't want to waste time. I'm leaving some some minutes, so I will give time to some of the people that will comment or that will give some maybe answers to the questions that I had. And maybe they are not answered. And maybe if you have another things to comment about something that you may tell us also, uh, we want to know that. But I want you to, I want you guys to text me or. Yeah, text me in chat. Say that I say this person will be the one talking because I don't want that noise now. Uh, and uh, the host will be the one. The host will be looking into the meeting chat. Or the selected will be the one to be uh, unmuted. So, so I'm I'm waiting for your text in the group. What number? Of slots do they offer for? What now? Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dear. Can you please answer this one? What number of slots do they offer for each year? Or for each country? I'm sorry, for each country. Well, they don't have like specific number for each country because it's competitive and they have they they do is they do it in a in a just way. So if only you are qualified for it, that's when they will choose you. They see who is better than who. So that's why they don't have specific uh, slots per country. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think you answered, Salva. So I'm going, I'm going back to that part before. So I'm, I'll be waiting for people who will get comments now. And if you are not, okay, if you guys are not raising your hand, or if you guys are not even coming, I can call you guys by name. I saw Deng's hand was up. Yeah. Okay. No, for Deng, I will give him time. I know the time I will give him, but I need some other people now. Please, silence now. Okay, I'll leave a little something here. Can you please talk? Ali, I'll leave something to you. Okay, let me, let me, let yeah, me. I, I, I'm sorry, Tira. I'm sorry, please. Jacob, uh, I don't know if people are still taking questions here. No. Tira, can you please hear this one? Um, uh, can you, there's a question here. There's a question here. Based on the application form, I can print it out and after I have answered it, then I will scan it. Then I will send it back because the case for signature is a problem for me, family. Oh, I don't understand this is not a question, uh, but I think it is not a question. Oh, silence means no questions. Okay, yeah, I'm not asking about questions, but I'm asking, I'm asking about maybe if you want to comment or you want to help us on something because you know this place is for helping. We have to help each other. That's why I was asking if you can comment anything, maybe any other scholarships or any other thing. Uh, Jacob, you have time now. Let me answer the question that you just asked. I was unable to unmute myself. So you cannot, okay. you cannot print it. Before you could do that, like when I was applying for my first application, because I applied twice at Earth, for my first application, I had to print it out, fill it, and then scan it and send send it back to them in email. But uh, when I reapplied, everything was just online. And same thing applies to you guys right now. I guess everything is online, so you no longer have to print it out and fill it. That one only happened in in the, about uh, recommendation letters. That's the only thing that you can print out and then give the the recommendation letters to people that are going to recommend you. But also you can download it and then send it as a PDF form on WhatsApp or to for any means to them so that they can fill it out. But the application form, no. Okay, that is all. That's all about her. Huh? I think that question is done now. So, Jacob, it's you on the floor. 
Oh, gag gag to like so your hand. Jacob, can you unmute gag? Let 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 me hear from him. Okay, okay, let me let me unmute. Yeah. Gak. 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 We are waiting for you. All right. Thanks. Uh, thank you, Jacob Ding. Thanks, everybody. Mm, really a pleasure to be part of this meeting today. You know, people were like, it is time for comment because all the questions were done. But I think this is, a, this is a very important program that everybody has to comment about. But if we are not going to say thank you all in person, then I want to say on behalf of all the participants, that we appreciate the program that was brought to us by Education Needs All, and we are glad for it. You know, I don't have... Yeah, it's yes. Yes? It has, a, it has, internet, it has internet problem, so it will not be. Okay. Okay, okay, yeah, I think if, if, if you're having an internet problem, it's your turn. I also saw, I saw, I saw iPhone, I saw iPhone racing is so, uh, <laughs> I, I have so, uh, can see two iPhones, or how many iPhones are my feet, so I don't know. Oh, there are a lot of iPhones. I think it's also, a device, one of the rules is also advisable to put your name when you are, when you are joining, because it's very important. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, I want to answer. So something. I don't. You can you can call one iPhone maybe. <laughs> if you know no. that iPhone, who, who he is, then you can no, call that, him. No, there there are two iPhones here. I don't know. I don't know who is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we have two iPhones. Okay, let me just answer some of the question. Uh, one of the questions that I want to answer is uh, that question of scholarship. Other scholarship aside uh, from. Uh, uh, Mastercard scholarship. So in Nashville, we have there are a lot of scholarships stated by tier. Uh, one of them is called Kellogg, and one of them is there's also another scholarship called Wager Prize, and other other scholarship. There are a lot of scholarship for which most of most of us, if you are not uh, if you are not uh, under that scholarship, you cannot know more information about it. So you only know more information about your scholarship because it is the one that is having direct contact with you. So about the other scholarship, like uh, for us university, you don't apply for a scholarship. So you apply for admission only. So now in the admission process, so if you are eligible uh, to be admitted, then now they can choose the, based on your based on your application because as theory stated, it is very important for you to be keen enough on the side of uh, uh, socio socio economic uh, form or financial form because this is where they will determine the, the the type of scholarship they will give you if you qualify for other like if you are, if your recommendation is good. If your application is good, like your essays are good, all your documents are there, like leadership is, and you qualify uh, for admission, then now the process that they will go in is the process of scholarship now. You don't apply for a scholarship, you don't choose a scholarship, you don't choose MasterCard, you don't choose a Kellogg, you don't choose Wege, you don't choose another scholarship because you don't know, you don't have information about that. But what they do, they will now see based on your, based on your, your application form, no, based on your financial form as said by tier. So, they will now see this type of scholarship they will give you. So if you are if you are someone who is like you are you are well off, you have people who are working like in your family, there's someone who get thousand dollars per month, then they will they will give you maybe partial scholarship or they, they don't even give you scholarship because you already like you have someone who can pay for his, for your tuition. So you just join any school there in Africa and let them pay your tuition. So it's good to be keen there. So uh on that side, you should be very, very keen enough when you are feeling like so you need to pull like but if you are you have you have some people who are who are who are working in your family and you, you know sometimes life is now becoming hard and when you have someone who is who is being paid ten thousand dollars per month, they have also other responsibilities. They may be having maybe direct maybe relative that they are supporting, or they have some other other important thing that they are doing and they are not like maybe supporting you directly. So what you can do, you cannot sometimes you need to be smart there. So put zero to, to one hundred dollars. 
So zero to one hundred dollars. But if there's someone who is paid by one hundred, uh, who is paid hundred dollars, that thing cannot 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 money like family uh a daily uh maybe like family uh family you cannot manage family like the foods and other things and also education for other children that are also being brought up because you are not the only child in the family. So you also need to know that. So always put zero to one hundred. You need to you need to get actually this scholarship. If you put zero to five hundred, then they will oh they will say they will maybe give you other maybe other scholarship that that is that is having less stipend or that is not having stipend because they will say maybe if 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 the family member your brother or your mother or your father is is getting some is getting five hundred US dollar a month, then they can maybe at least send you five fifty dollars a month. Then that fifty dollars will will will, uh, will sustain you uh, in the process. So what do you do? Yeah, it, it may seem as a lie, but at some point it's not a lie because. You yourself, you are not working and you cannot support it. So that's 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 it. So for those who are asking about the scholarship, other that scholarship, you can there's no way you can assess them. You cannot assess other scholarship. You, they only give you the scholarship. So if you apply, they select you for the scholarship. So you cannot you cannot even search online and say Mastercard scholarship, you apply for it, Kellogg, you apply for it. You go through the admission process and then they give you the scholarship based on your uh, based on your financial uh Status. Okay, about the about the the, the agriculture, you, you should not you should not worry. I think it, it was it it has already been answered by Tir, but you need not worry if you if you have interest. Like the most important thing is interest. Like these people, they understand that when if you don't you don't you don't know something and you have interest in it, you can you can devolve you can devolve like you can devolve a skill and you can you can you can you can know it you can learn it, because there's nothing that there's nothing that can beat interest. So if you have interest in agriculture or you have interest in scholarship, like you, you need to get that opportunity and you'll come and cope up with uh and come and cope up with the system, then you can apply. If you have some leadership skill, you have you have awards, you have other 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 things that you have been doing, you, you have also been participating in community social uh, activity like cultural activities and all those things, you have evidence. So they can they can they can they can allow you because they will see your performance. So if you are able to get like you get eighty point in your in your certificate, then you are you can you can also you can also get time to also learn and you and you pass the the, the course that is agriculture. So you can you should not worry uh, on that side. I don't know if there are other questions that are pending. You can also ask. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Jacob. I think Jacob has tackled a lot of things here and. We have got to know more. Uh, so I don't know if there's another question that is passing is an asset or any other things that you can comment. Please, can you raise your hand? I want to see that. And there are some people that I'm not seeing their, their videos on their pictures. So please, you can text me so that I know and I'll let you talk. And remember, we have less time. Uh, the time left. We have only, I think, um, 21 minutes. Yeah, 21 minutes left. So. Please be faster, be faster. Okay, the iPhone, the iPhone has raised his hand or hand. No, no, his iPhone. Hand, I guess. Uh -huh. Okay, whoever iPhone is, let him talk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. Welcome. All right. Thank you for the time. Okay. I'm I'm a lot actually because I've not yet created my Zoom account. That's why it's appearing like that. So. The point and where my point should be is about recommendation letter. I don't know. It, does it mean I should give to someone who knows me best or just like, should I go back to my school and submit one and also like a community leader to fill up one and maybe from there I can submit or what exactly is required for like, that kind of recommendation. What type of person should fill it up exactly? I hope you are getting it. Yeah, I can get you. Well, I will say it will be a better option to give it to someone who knows you best because he will write it with all his heart, okay? Then to just go and give it to a yeah. teacher who don't even know more about you and will just fill the questions so it will be better to give it to someone who knows you better but you don't have to indicate that that person is your relative or is your close friend you have to make it professional 
that's what i can say all right i think okay. that would be my question oh, okay you add, something, you add something on that okay yeah. sorry what is your name my name is Alo. okay Alo. I, I think i have, I have involved you we have been chatting. oh yeah that's good yeah i remember now yeah. yeah sure yeah oh yom right something like that yes exactly oh, okay. number one okay good okay nice Nice to meet you. Okay, to add something on that, sure. actually, what you need to do most of the time, you need to you need to give it to someone who knows you better, and that person has a good writing uh, has a good writing skill because this thing like these recommendation they they bully them a lot. Like they will see like how other people know about you, and what creativity do they know in you? Because like that person should also know how creative you are, and and how you actually how you are passionate about agriculture. It, it may not be something that in your, your certificate like. Most of us, like for us, sometimes you may not study agriculture, but you still practice this uh, system, uh, uh, sustain, uh, sus sustainable, uh, no, 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 so system farming. You can, you can, you can, you can practice a system farming in your family, like this small farming whereby we just grow things for our own, uh, for our own consumption without, without sale. So most of us, we have, we have this skill. So sometimes you need that, you need that person to maybe write about you, tell how creative you have been in. How you also manage to maybe create some business with uh, uh, with agricultural products and all those things, so you can give the, the recommendation to someone who who is who is good at writing, and who is who is also knowing you. Another 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 things another another things that I just want to tell you maybe this is just a secret, and don't let it don't let it out of the book. So sometimes right. sometimes you may not you may not get those people who are willing to write or people may people who are, who are good at writing may not be available. Or may not be there. So what you do most of the time, you just request someone for maybe his detail like email, like number and contact, and you write you write the recommendation by yourself. Like for me, I wrote all my recommendation, and I I, I use it. I use the third person, like using other person maybe recommending me. So because like the where I, I was in I was in the remote area and I could not get maybe those who could write well to write my recommendation. So what I did. I just request some people. Uh, I just request some people I knew, to uh, some people I know to, to to give me their contacts. Then I put their contact, and then I, I wrote the recommendation by myself. So I I use different language. So I think you understand. So that's what you that's what you do. Is is for okay. This one this statement is for those who are here in the meeting. It's not something yeah. that you can put outside there that you write your own recommendation. No, the recommendation is meant for for someone help to write for you, but. If there are no people who can help, because like it's also important, like if, if there are people who are there, they can also help you because there's no time for you to write all these things. It takes a lot of time, by the way. So sure. you can, if you know that there are some people that you trust that can write well and they can write uh, uh, well about you, then you give it, to, you give these three recommendations to them. If not, you can, you can maybe write one and you give two, or you write two and you give one. Now you depend on the availability of those who can who can help you. So that's that's just a secret that I can just uh, that I want to tell you. It is a secret, but they say that there's no secret of two people, right? <laughs> it's a secret when you, you, you okay, have yeah. the recording. Okay, okay, to add on that. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'll cut, I'll cut that on. Add on I'll, something. Cut that on I'll remove it. I'll cut yeah, it. Yeah, to add on that, when when it's uh, someone else that is recommending you and it doesn't know you, like, you also have to tell him what you want to be written in that recommendation letter. You tell him this is what I've done and this is what I want you to write. I want you to answer this question like this and like this. Give him a hint of what he's supposed to write about you. Yeah. Can we now go ahead? Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. And and again to add on that, most of the most of the people if you if you have someone to write for you a recommendation, they don't do it to their substation. Maybe someone would write some short short things that cannot even convince some that you are writing so or that's correct so what you do the best thing is that thing that they think everyone is using it now you write your own and then now you collect email from people so that you ask and you have to write it need one the need one because most of the scratches they consider accommodation most like more than the things that you write so that's the little thing I can I can add on that before I allow any other person to talk. Okay, another thing, another thing you don't you, you need you need to know you, or you need to put into account is that when you are writing, don't write don't write the recommendation with the same handwriting. <laughs> you know, sometimes people are very are very tricky. They they can they can understand. 
like you write with the same like for me what i did sometimes i use both hands I, I write in both hands i use left and right and, and, and right so i will i use I, I wrote i wrote one in left and the other one right because they are, they are, they are different they have different they have, when you see them they're not the same so i use different handwriting another thing the last because there are, there are three so i gave i gave the other recommendation i wrote the information in different paper and then gave the recommendation to another person to write using his handwriting so what you can also do if there are people around you can who have like who can write so you can also write you use a different paper write to write wow. the, the answer the question and then you give it to someone someone else to write for you request for her, i think her writing cannot take it cannot take a lot so someone will not refuse uh, because when you are writing you need thinking you need to think you need uh, you need to have critical thinking how you can uh, how you can attempt the question or how you can tackle the question but if it is a handwriting it doesn't need anything you just see the, the Thing written by a different person also copy and put it down so that's also another trick that you need to know so when i was when i when i sat down i say now oh now if i write using my hair writing the, using one hair writing then they will identify they will know ah, this this one, this one person doing it. so you also need to you also need to know that because these people when they're when they're evaluating the form they're very critical enough and they know that all these tricks what i'm telling you they also know that some some people can can sit down and they write by themselves they also know this so you also need to play play your game there Play your cut well and say that they don't say that they don't they don't they don't get you. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, Jacob. Uh, any other? But uh, Jacob, I'm sorry to say this, but I'm seeing Miss Abir here. I don't know if the view is not seeing her or oh. Yeah. With, with us? I'm seeing yeah, this. I'm not seeing her. Yeah, yeah, she's not there. Okay. Uh, Dengaki has raised his hand, so let me allow him. She's not around? I will answer you. I will answer you. Let me allow someone else. Okay, as we are, this Abia is the is the supervisor, so so she 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 will be the last to talk. So I we can still go on as we are looking for where she is or maybe to get to know where he, where she is to come and conclude it. I want other people to come and talk. We still have time now. You you, you all are welcome. All. Please don't keep quiet. I can see Dengake Chans is up. We are muted. Oh yeah, Dengake, Dengake. Please, can you, please, Deng, can you unmute Dengake? Unmute Dengake. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah Deng, yeah, you're Deng, welcome. Okay. Thank you guys for your time and for your support that you have been doing. So there's something that I just want to know from you. Like before, when I heard about how to write recommendation or how to get recommendation, and what I heard before is was like recommendation. There's something, something. Cut. Huh? Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Like recommendation, you said before that it can be in top copyright. Yeah. Oh, and what I have now from Jacob Deng is that you have tried your your recommendation. So what I want to know is that can we print it out and be written? And then it can, or should we uh, fill it on online or in top of? I think I mentioned that before because someone asked about it, whether it should be handwritten or it should be filled online. So it depends with uh, whether you are in the same region with the person you want, you want to be your reference or you are in different regions. So you can also send it to him as a PDF if you want someone else to fill it or 
if you want to use the trick that then just mentioned, you can also print it out, fill it, and then scan it and send it. And you can also do the other ones. You can fill them online so that to, to make them look like they are from different people. So that's what I can say. Okay. You have another question? Are you convinced? Yeah, it is okay. Okay, about about what I was saying, it's not a must that you have to write by yourself. I was I, I said before that this is a secret. It's when like it's when there's when there's no more help. Like for me, like I gave an example of myself because I had no one to help me that time because I was in the remote area and and people who could write well actually were in scarcity. So there were not a lot of people. So what I did, I just used that trick because you also like sometimes when you are sending it online to be filled online is quite hard because like for you to fill it online, you also need to uh, to download another application that is Adobe Reader or something like that for yeah. you to assess the application in, because it is in PDF. So you cannot you cannot write it. It's not like a document. So you cannot you cannot just write. So when you if you have access to people who can who can uh, who can who can write online, then it's also good. There's no problem. It's also good. But if there is if there is if there are no people, then you can you can you can print you can print the, the form out. And then you feel you, you you let you give you give them to, to different people. That that the that the idea. So the idea is to give three recommendation to three different people to recommend you. But that thing come in when there's no one to recommend you, and you want the scholarship, like for me. So I, I need the, I needed the scholarship, and I had no one to recommend me. So I had to play that trick. So it was just a game. It was not actually. Let me say it was not a fair game. But on my side, it was not like it's not it's it's not a just game. But I just did it for for that uh, for that case. So if you have a lot of people around you that can write, so why do you why do you why do you burden yourself? Just give it to someone and explain like what he say. Explain to someone what they can what, uh, what they can write in the forms, and then let them write for you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is okay. 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 Um. Okay. As as. Uh... As you guys knew before, the supervisor was a, a beer, area, be area in the present now. So, what I would do, we, we have less time now. We have only seven minutes left. So, I would love, I would allow one of the ENA admin, ENA staff to, to come and say something, maybe to abide. Okay, maybe someone who has been here, like maybe Alice, Alice, yeah. Alice, you can talk on. Be aware of this. You can solve. You can tell us more about this, or you can do the tasks that are be of possible. Please, I'm sorry for it is so divergent to you, but. You Here. You can, yeah, you, can, Alice. you can allow Alice or Bull who is here or Alice, someone someone who is ready. Is oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah, Bull, Bull, yeah. One of you guys, Bull, 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 please. Can you admit one of them? Let's see. Okay. Let me unmute all of them. The best thing you can do is to one of them pass it and we know what they will say. Yeah. So welcome, Bull. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I came late a little bit. I don't really know, but uh, our time has changed. So to me, I thought it would be at 9. It was supposed to be at 8 a.m. <laughs> so sorry for that, yeah. So on the other hand, uh, maybe to summarize a little bit about what I, what is being said when I was in already about uh, the recommendation. Uh, the thing is, anyway, it is all about creativity. You have to be creative in order to get uh, these scholarships. You have to be so, so, so creative in a way that you can do some things by yourself and uh, you only need a stamp from other people. Because the thing is, if I'm to recommend you, I may not know what you want, right? 
you are the best person that can give me what you really want. And uh, I may not have time to, to write the way you want it. So the best is you writing it yourself. And you give it to someone just to sign and maybe he stamps the, uh, the recommendation later. So try to be creative. Not everything that uh, really needs you to be, uh, I may say, to be honest. But there are some things you have to do by yourself at some point. Uh, you play a dirty game a little bit, but not too much of it. So you may uh, write it yourself using uh, a pen or you type it. But, uh, you know, sometimes typing is tricky a little bit because uh, uh, it may look as if you are able or you are financially okay. So it would make sense to me uh, if you write it using your your using an ink or, an, or your hand. Uh, to at least show it that uh, you are someone who is trying uh, to get a scholarship, but you are you have financial issues. So try as much as possible to use your hand. And like then say, you can write it yourself, give it to someone in order not to have uniform handwriting, and the person writes it for you, just rewriting what you have written already, uh, be it your friend, your sister, or another siblings uh, in the family. So... Let's try to be very creative. We can get anything as long as uh, that creativity is is practiced. So basically on that, that's what I got you people talking about. But again, maybe to add on, I know you talked about it, uh, but I didn't uh, attend that time, is about uh, these scholarships. It really needs a lot of hard work in order to get one. And remember, you cannot just get it once. It will take you time. You may not get for art scholarship, but you may get the one of uh, MasterCard in, uh, is it IUS or at that university in Kenya? Yes, I do. Yeah, yeah. You may get one. You may get one in Morocco, much as there are a lot of challenges. The, the government has canceled this and that. There's one of Ethiopia. Uh, there are other scholarships in other countries. So uh, try to explore a lot. Don't limit yourself. You don't really need to pay anything. Most of these scholarships are for free. Uh, maybe your time and your data, that's what you need uh, to, to get one for yourself. So don't limit yourself in any way. Another thing is about flexibility. I see most of the people uh, in most cases trying so hard, you know, to stack their minds in one path, but that's not right. Uh, you may wish to be a medical doctor, you want to be engineer, uh, you know, civil engineer, electrical, and so on. But uh, a time life gives you uh, no choice, but to go for what is available at that time. Uh, you may not have so much love for agriculture, but uh, if it is the one that is available at that particular time, go for it. You study, do agriculture. You may be interested in economics, but you may not get it. So why can't you go for maybe uh, agricultural business or agribusiness, something of like that? So it has a corn and other business uh, <clears throat> related uh, program or courses, units in it. So try to be flexible. There's no limit in getting so many degrees. If agriculture is what you can get right now, go for it, get it. You will also apply when you are stable to go for uh, maybe economics or entrepreneurship, or you go for, uh, sorry, or you go for um, uh, any medical course after you are done. Otherwise, you know, years are running so fast, you know. You may be trying so hard now to look for ways of going to a medical school, but you're not getting it so soon, yet uh, time is running. You may be 25, you're running 26, 27, you know, and you clock 30 without even having anything at hand. So at some point, we need to be flexible. You go for what is available. Yes, we have uh, so many dreams, but sometimes uh, we have to have... Uh, uh, re-evaluation, we reevaluate our uh, needs or the courses that we may want to go for and uh, fly moves on. So maybe that's what I would love to uh, put on because I believe most people don't really love agriculture. 
I can't be an agriculturalist, I can't do this and that. But that's not the case. Uh, all courses are good. Depends on how much you know about that particular course. Uh, if you're a medical doctor, that is your field. You cannot be an uh, engineer uh, as well. You can go for one, and that is it. You can settle your life. You want to go for, there are so many, so many good courses that people underlook. Everyone wants to go for law. Everyone wants to go for medical course. I want to be doctor. Yes, being called Molana, yes, it's not bad. But if you have no chance to go for it, you can also go for other things and you become a, a expert in your field, you know. So let's try to be flexible. Let's try to put in a lot of efforts and let's try to be creative. Up to that point, I would love to stop there. Thank you. All right, thank you, Bull. Uh, I think we are now all convinced. And uh, please, uh, there's something cut out that is not safe. We still have more intentions ahead that we will do. Yeah? And you will get more, you get to know more of us. Try to tell your, your colleagues, tell your brother, tell your sister. So at least 10 orientations, because I think now here, yeah, we have known some new things that you can even apply in maybe Hals University. If you're not interested in Hals University, you can be interested in other universities and the same thing applies, like because the other thing of recommendation, recommendation is in every scholarship and you have had it now. So that's why it's good to attend. You have to give yourself time and attend. Please tell people to try hard to come and attend this. And also to the ENA staff sometimes if it is uh if it is better to use WhatsApp then sometimes you may choose WhatsApp because uh Zoom, many people doesn't know about Zoom. I mean people don't don't use Zoom because they say Zoom is uh, kinda expensive. If WhatsApp maybe conference uh conference meetings can can occur, maybe to accommodate a lot of people and then we better use it some other time to come than Zoom. So Zoom is the best, but a lot of people like in my inbox, some people were even asking me, where is Zoom? So I have to explain that Zoom is an application that we download it like this. So that's the, the thing I can add on. Uh, and I said before, we have a, another orientation coming ahead. So we'll talk more about scholarships. So please don't hesitate to come or to text and ask, ask what, you, what you need, what you have in health here. Text in the group here and ask it and anyone will be there to answer you. That's uh, all I can say. Uh, thank you for um, for showing respect here. Uh, every, everything I said before the rule I said, uh, we all went well. No interruptions, no noise making, though we tried to control our agency, something like that. So this is the best thing. We have to respect ourselves and that's why we go on. Because if there's no respect, that one will not respect you and you won't learn anything. You know? This education journey, we have to go through it with respect and understanding. We understand ourselves as we respect ourselves. So uh, this is the things I can add and I don't want any other person to talk again because we are out of time. Four minutes ahead now. So next time I don't want to be someone, someone who doesn't keep time, you know, I'm a time keeper. And I want to sleep also. So Jacob, if there's something you can say, just to conclude because you are the host, just to cut the video to stop it. So you can say something, one word. And... Okay, let me let me take one minute, maybe to uh, end. Uh, okay, thank you so much, uh, moderator. Thank you so much, speaker, and 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 the and the supervisor in absence and all the staff that are here and all the members uh, who have attended today. Thank you so much for this wonderful session. I believe all of us might have learned something at least. Even if you are not applying for a scholarship, and once maybe you may apply for a scholarship. Not only for bachelor, but also for masters. You are also applying. So all the all the rules apply. They apply the same. So you need to have the same the same mindset when you are applying. So what I can just put forward is this journey of scholarship. Actually, is, is a it's a journey that is full of sun and system. A journey of a lot of challenges. So when you are trying, it's hard. Actually, it's not it's not easy to 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 deliver, deliver yourself out of out of out of uh, economical challenges, but. As someone with a vision, you always try hard to do what you what you want not to do, say that you win or say that you secure your future. So what I can just what I can just tell all of us who are here, so is that 
whatever thing we try, like especially with scholarship, we also need to we need we need to develop patience because it's one of the main things that that keep us in the journey. Because most of the time we receive a lot of rejection. I cannot I cannot say actually the number of the number of, the number of rejection that I receive in the scholarship, and I actually receive a lot. So you need you need to also develop patience and perseverance. So you need to be persevere. You need to you need to be persevere when you are when you are applying, because things will take time. Like this scholarship now will take time. They will reply maybe in May, so next year. So it means you need you you need you to be patient and also try other other opportunities. You need to be flexible, as we put it. So we need to be flexible. So another thing. So sometimes you need to also seek advice from other people. You need to text. Uh, you need to talk with some people whom you are acquainted with. Or in the group has for some more information to be given based on the scholarship. Don't just apply for the scholarship that you don't know. You don't know more, uh, the, uh, more, uh, more uh, 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 criteria and other things, requirement that, that that are needed. So you always you always need to seek. Uh, you always need advice alongside or mentorship alongside uh, your application. So that is very important. So thank you so much for attending uh, the today uh, meetings, and I believe all these things will work for all of us any time and a day. So thank you so much. Bye. Thank you. So thank you so much. We can take maybe for those who are here, we can take a photo, and then we you can put on your cameras if if, if possible, so that we take uh, maybe a group photo and then we go. I mean, I can see. Oh, no, I can see. Right, your having okay. issues. I don't know. It's like you cannot you cannot put it on, right? Yes. Yeah, it is. So we can we can put on our camera for those who are able. Yeah, you can put on your camera. You can take for that. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm seeing the people are coming in. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Okay. Uh, we we are taking the we are taking the general photo, the group photo. Okay, then let me just take this and we go. You see, crowded, the crowded background. Yeah, there's no problem. You can just stay like this. It's okay. Ready? For those who are, for those who has, uh, who have the cameras on. One, two, three. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much for attending. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.